Welcome back to Pocket Rock. Hey, where are you going? It's just math. Don't run away. Hey, hey. Oh, well. Okay, we're going, we are going to calculate the area of figures. The area is the measurement of inside the figure. Like here you have a rectangle. We're going to calculate how much will fit into that rectangle. 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 Uh, area is dealing with 2D figures, two dimensions. And when you're calculating the area, the units are, in, are square units. Example, square inches, square feet, square centimeters, square meters, square yards. This is one example of the way you can write square units. You can also write it as abbreviating square and abbreviating inches. So square inches can be written square inches, square inches, or you can write square inches with the symbol. Square feet, square feet, square feet, square feet. Square centimeters, square centimeters. The one thing that do not do, do not combine this symbol with an exponent. You do not write square inches. Do not write two symbols together. One of them at least needs to be words, then the other one can be a symbol. Okay, so formulas for area. First thing is, you have a rectangle. The area for a rectangle, the formula for the area of a rectangle is base times height, or you can say length times width. For a triangle, the area is one half base times height, or this is the same thing, base times height divided by two. Either way, to get the area of a triangle, everything starts back from a rectangle. If you cut a rectangle in half, you have created a triangle. That's why this is one half base times height. For a parallelogram, the formula is the same as a rectangle base times height. The key here is that the height is perpendicular to the base. You do not use one of these slant sides. The height, the height is always perpendicular to the base. Height is always perpendicular to the base for all of these. For the triangle, you need to use a height that is also perpendicular to the base. I should have this drawn in here. The height is perpendicular to the base. The area of a trapezoid, on a trapezoid, it's like you have two bases. You have a base up here at the top and then a base down here. This is a base, a B sub 1, subscript 1, and a B sub 2, subscript 2. The very first thing that you do is you take the average of the bases. So you take base 1 plus base 2 and divide by 2. That is the average base. That is what this is in parentheses. Then you multiply it to the height. The height is perpendicular to the base, not one of these slant sides. So again, in a trapezoid, the very first thing you do is take the average of the bases. Order of operation says to do the parentheses first. So you do what's in the parentheses first, then you multiply by the height. When you're doing this, you're taking the average of the bases. My suggestion for these formulas, make yourself a little formula card like this. Just get a little three by five index card, write your formulas on here, draw you a picture of each one of those for your formulas, and write your formula. I do recommend you write your formula every time you work a problem. When you write the formula, you will automatically memorize it. But if you want to make your little formula card so that you don't have to memorize these, my thoughts on formulas are you don't have to memorize them, you just need to understand how to use them. Okay, so let's work some problems with area. On 9B1, you have a parallelogram. Uh, you are given that this side is 7.4 inches, this side is 5.5 inches, the height is 4 and 3 fourths inches. My recommendation is to turn everything into a decimal, okay? First off, you are working with a parallelogram, so you need the formula for the area of a parallelogram. Area of a parallelogram is base times height. Which number do I use for the height? Height is always perpendicular to the base. This right here, this symbol shows me which is the height that is perpendicular to the base. That is this number right here, four and three fourths. So I won't even need five and a half. So my suggestion is to turn four and three fourths into a decimal. That is the same thing as four point 
0.75 inches. Okay, that is that number right there. So base times height is, my base is 7.4 inches times 4.75 inches. And then multiply those two together and you should be getting 35.15, I'm just rounding to two decimals. And your units are inches times inches is inches squared or square inches. I'm just going to double check my math in my calculator. Yeah, 35.15. All right, let's look at 9B3, a triangle. So we're wanting the area of a triangle. So get your formula for the area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is, you can either look at it as one half base times height. In, in other words, take your base times height and then take half of that number which is the same thing as base times height and then dividing it by two. I like to use this format better. There's no right or wrong. Remember you want the base. This is your base. Your height is perpendicular to your base. I will not need these two numbers because neither one of those is perpendicular to my base. This is what is perpendicular to my base. That is my height. So I will be using 9.2 as my base meters times my height, which is the 5.5. Now divide that all by two. Order of operations, do this first, then do divide by two. When you do that, uh, let me make sure I'm rounding correctly. All right, comes out to 25.3, and then the units are meters, so square meters. Okay, let's do 9B6, trapezoid. Since we're working with a trapezoid, then you need to know the formula for the area of a trapezoid. For a trapezoid, you have your base 1 plus your base 2 divided by 2 because we're taking the average of the bases, then multiply that by your height. Remember, the height is perpendicular to your base. We won't need to use this number at all. It's just extra. This is our height because that is perpendicular. That symbol shows us right there. That's perpendicular. That forms a 90 degree angle to our base. So I'm going to say this is base 1. So I need to do 12 plus 16, which is base 2, divide by 2. Calculate that first in parentheses, then multiply it to your height. So if we did 12 plus 16 first, that's 28. Divide that by 2, which is 14. So everything in parentheses here is 14 times 8. That comes out to 112. So the area of the trapezoid will be 112, and our units are inches, so square inches. Okay, now we're looking at problem 9E5. Uh, we have this figure right here. So my recommendation is to break it up into smaller rectangles so that you can break this up into three different rectangles and you can find the area of each rectangle. Uh, the area of a rectangle is base times height. So looking here, I know this is five centimeters, three centimeters. So the area of this small one is 15 centimeters square or square centimeters. I'm just going to write 15 in there just for the purposes of note taking. Okay. For this big one, if I know this total is 8, but yet this small portion is 3, then I know that from here to here is 5 centimeters. Okay? 5 centimeters plus this 3 centimeters equals my total of 8 centimeters. So now I can do base times height, 14 times 5. That is 70 square centimeters, so I'm just going to write 70 in there. Now I need to do this little square. Well, from that this is 3, I know this is 3 centimeters. But I need to know what this length is right here. The total length across the bottom is 14. I know that's 5 and that's 5, so that's 10. So 14 minus 10 is 4. That would leave 4 centimeters right there. 
So base times height, four times three, 12 square centimeters. Now I can add up all of these to get my total area. So my total area should add up to be 97 square centimeters. Yeah. So, and then uh, they also ask you for the perimeter. I'm not gonna do that one here, but on the perimeter, you just the little ant walking around and add up all your sides. All right, now go to 9E19. This is algebra with finding area and perimeter. So I'm gonna work on the perimeter first. Perimeter just means I'm the little ant walking around. So I need to add up all my sides together. So let's just say I start here. Well, then I'll walk the distance of B. Then I'll walk the distance of A, but remember I'm adding. So I'm adding A. Now I'm adding C. I cannot combine B plus A plus C. I cannot combine terms when they are not alike. So that's as simplified as I can leave it. And since I'm not giving a unit, you can just write units. So that's it for a perimeter. That is your perimeter. If I'm finding the area, it's a triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, or one half base times height. My base is B. My height, which is perpendicular to the base, is A. So it's, this is base times height. So it's B times A, that represents B times A, divided by two. I cannot simplify it any more than that. An area is always square units, so you can just write it as that. So this would be your, the area for that triangle. Let's go down to 9E20. We're dealing with a trapezoid. So we're going to do the perimeter first. When you're dealing with perimeter, you're the little ant walking around. So we're dealing with the perimeter first. So let's just say I start here. If I walk from here to here, I just walk the distance of 4x. Okay? And I'm going to add everything going around. I walked a distance of 4x. Now I go this way. I walked a distance of 2x plus 2. I'm adding up my distances. Now I go down this way. I walked a distance of 6x. Go up this way. I walked a distance of 2x plus 1. Now in the world of algebra, combine all your like terms. X's to X's, whole numbers to whole numbers. 4x plus 2x is 6x, plus another 6x is 12x, plus another 2x is 14x. So I have a total of 14x's. I took care of that, 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 and that. Now adding my whole numbers, 2 plus 1 is 3. I cannot simplify this any more than that. I cannot combine x's to whole numbers. And if I just want to put units, I can do that. So my perimeter is 14x plus 3 units. Okay, now let's do the area. So the formula for area of trapezoid. Okay, now we're going to do the area. Formula for area of a trapezoid. Base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. We're taking the average of the bases times the height. The main thing to know is which information you're going to use. Here's my base 1, here's my base 2, this is my height. I need my height to be perpendicular to my base. So to find the area, I will not need this information nor this information. So to find the average of my bases, base 1, 4x, plus base 2, 6x, divide that by 2, multiply that by my height, which is 2x. Order of operations, do parentheses first. 4x plus 6x, 10x, divided by 2, times 2x. Here, you can either do what's in parentheses first, or you can put this over 1 and multiply fractions. I'm just going to do 10x over 2. 10 divided by 2, 5x, times 2x. When you multiply, numbers to numbers, x's to x's. 5 times 2 is 10, x times x, x squared. And then for your units, area is always square units, so square units. 
So your area for that trapezoid is 10x squared, squared units. 